There's a lot of things about that Las Vegas shooting that just occurred uh, that don't really add up. One of the first to come out with it was Natural News. Um, Mike Adams noticed, and he had five things that I guess came to his mind right off the bat. Uh, this one in particular. I've got a friend whose cousin is a photographer for People Magazine, and he was there. And, of course, he was in a location where he was kind of sheltered. But he did, at one point, decide he's going to kind of step out. She said that he took some way the shutter. Of course, it's a professional camera. But he took like seven, 800 photographs. Just, she, she called it shutter something. And in that, he's seen multiple shooters, not two, multiple, in multiple locations. Uh, his film was seized uh, by the police or some agency. And so he also gave that. Uh, there's another one on a girl who warned or his woman and her and this guy that were Hispanic and they warned that everybody there was gonna die and they were escorted out. Especially coming here for my twenty first birthday and not knowing if I'm safe, not even knowing if I'm safe going home tomorrow on an airplane. So um, and, and how did you get out of the venue after this all happened? We actually weren't there whenever the shooting had occurred. We had already left about maybe 10, 15 minutes before that. But we just barely made it back into our room whenever it started. And, I mean, were you thinking, oh, my gosh, this, this woman told us that before, before we left? Yeah, I thought it had a positive correlation to it. Like, obviously, she was telling us that in either to tell us to warn us or to tell us that we were all going to die and she was part of it. So Okay, so uh, they want the description of this woman. Describe to me what this woman looked like. Her and her boyfriend were both Hispanic. They were probably about shorter five-footers, probably about five, 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 six. Um, they just look like everyday people. Just... Can you tell us anything more about them, what they look like? Why were they escorted out? Were they escorted out because you were feeling uncomfortable about what they said? Yes, because she had been messing with the lady in front of her and telling her that she was going to die, that we we're all going to die. So they escorted her out to make her stop messing around with all the other people in front of them, but none of us knew that it was going to be serious. There's another video that I found, and I cannot find it again, that... Um, some local news channel had two days or so before the shooting where there was a warning. They showed different pictures of different things, a uh, bridge and something else and something else. Anyway, it wasn't a, a picture of the exact spot, but it was a picture of that whole area that was coming. <coughs> so we get to number three, the weapon you hear on the videos is full automatic which is almost impossible to acquire through legal means. That's very true. Um, and if this guy had no training, he probably wouldn't know how to use a full automatic weapon. And um, we'll come back to that. You know, why were the exits blocked? I mean, you'd think that they would have unblocked them. Why did the shooter have as many as 10 firearms in this room? That I am very suspicious of. I'm not so sure what he had 10 firearms because even with nowadays firearms, they're not light. And probably most people have no clue about the rounds of ammunition and what they weigh. But to take enough ammunition to wound 500 people plus up to the room, you're looking at 
hundreds of pounds. Not a hundred, hundreds. I would think that the security in that place would be a little bit better than that. But the multiple shooter back where, you know, I told you a friend of mine had. So, the videos I've seen, they don't look, you know, it's questionable what they are. But this, however, is not questionable. Listen to the sounds. <laughs> Close up. Far off. Yeah, it does. It sounds like automatic gunfire. Yeah, it sounds like it's coming from um, farther away. Simultaneously firing in that. So somebody's booting under the covers. Well, Mike had, had another thing put up. Five more things that don't add up. Where's all the expendable brass? And yet, when I go, I think this is about the first time I've ever seen his sight not pull up. Uh, here it comes. So anyway, it says, where is the brass? And it shows a picture of the weapons that's laying around. Let's see, this one. No. This one, you can see the feet. Uh, you notice the one on the tripod right here. He said, is that I'm the same weapon? Could be, could not be, who knows. It's irrelevant. Uh, he's worth checking out. But he asked, where was the brass? And I found this fella here. Who just ain't what I want. Ah. Here we see brass. You see all the brass laying around? There's not over 20 to 30 rounds of brass that's laying there. So, and they say they don't know why he did it, right? There's a note. Why don't they tell nobody what's on the note? Uh, but there is brass. There's just not much of it. And here, the rifle is over his foot. Whereas, and Adam is back down again. Whereas on the picture that he has up, it's a little different angle. I don't know if you can tell that or not. There's not enough brass there to cover that. Um, it's just simply not. There's not even enough brass there to cover the dead people. Uh, this guy here, this is what a lot of decent assault rifles, and automatic weapons, I should say, would look like. This is a totally different motel. Why is those three windows out? I'm not so sure that I'm sold on that. It could be a flash of light, a reflection. What I am sold on is what I hear. What I hear 
is multiple gun going off. Now that's not bumping. You can't make that sound bumping any kind of gun. That is a fully automatic. I mean, no matter how you want to look at it, that is a fully automatic. That's closer than the 32nd floor, too, by the way. It wouldn't be that loud unless you're at the 31st floor. That's another thing. Hell, you hear how, high, how loud that is. You're trying to tell me that people on the adjacent rooms couldn't hear any of this? Yeah, something's not making that, making sense. Uh, she did the fan. They had 16 questions. And of course, a lot of questions are going to be the same. Uh, that one talks about the suicide note that allegedly shows. Uh, these are different. It, that might be something you might be interested in. Fourth floor suspect. And I do not think he would get 42 guns. And why the hell would he have 42 guns in one room each time he snuck a weapon through there? That's a chance of getting got. So unless it looked like he was moving in an infantry, he didn't have 42 guns. Uh, he had no military background on training. He wouldn't be doing that. Um, yeah, I wonder that. Why did it take law enforcement authorities 72 minutes to get into Stephen Paddock's hotel room? You know, there, there's just a lot. Um, and ISIS, who's ISIS? ISIS is funded by the United States and Israel. Some people say Saudi Arabia also put some money into it. Um, and his brother is when his brother's interviewed that's weird if they were so close shouldn't his brother have been sorrowful that his you know that he had died shouldn't have been shocked and to do the mind blowing the thing that it reminded me of more than anything was the dude the old man at Sandy Hook which looked a hell of a lot like the alleged shooter that I mean they favored a lot but their actions are scripted and so you know that just and it's funny how all these things always turn out to be a lone gunman and a lone gunman always commits suicide always the lone gunman commits suicide and it just kind of shuts it down, does it not, at that point? I mean, long, long gunman shoots a bunch of people, then kills himself. That, in and of itself, is just stupid. I mean, they need to get another script. They pretty much wore that one out. Um, him, his brother. Weird. Where's the remorse that his brother's died? We're just, it's like, you think it's a... And... It's not going to download the... Firefox is getting to where it just sucks. 
But anyway, and in one picture, they show uh, one picture. They show all these different rifles, and everything I seen in them different rifles makes you wonder what that was. Everything that they that they show you in these rifles, these are assault rifles, and they can be automatic. They can be bump stocked or whatever, but that's not bump stock going off. But uh, these rifles are assault. Those look like clips, sure enough. But the rifles that were shown that was in there as well, not on this one, but something else that I'd seen, uh, those were hunting rifles. And I think there was like one or two 30-30 lever actions. You couldn't bump them or make them semi-automatic or automatic or anything else. Lock and load. One shot. One time. No idea who this dude is and I hope you don't mind me using it. But most of the rifles that I've seen pictures of were bolt action. This guy's about as fast and as good at shooting one rapidly as I've ever seen. I think you'll hear the difference between the shots he fires and the shots that were fired. And uh, hope you guys like the video. Did you get that? That nowhere, period, sounds anything like uh, the shooting that occurred. And I don't know if you noticed the ammo or not. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But the ammo itself, let's see if I can find him chambering around. Look at the length of the ammo. See how long that ammo is? That stuff is heavy. So anyway, um, gives you an idea. Makes you wonder. I hate it for the people it happened to. And what I hate worse is that we have a government that's too busy wanting to close the case or use this for their own evil agenda that it won't ever really be solved maybe this guy was part of it but he definitely wasn't all of it so i'm out